Hey guys, it's me. I have very bad news. It seems that at least everyone knows my YouTube now. The people in my university class, which is... They've been trying to spread it around and I don't know what's happened, but... Uh, they played it back in, in one of my classes last... A few days ago and oh my god, my head was desk... I was face desking so much. <laughs> oh, but anyway, I have two battles here. I've got one LC match in the first part of the video and the second part of the video is going to be a triples final which uh, I was in this triples final tourney. Um, triples tourney and I was in the final so I'll show that bit, you know. Ah. Anyway, we're gonna... this is a... Uh, actually both videos are tourney matches come to think of it because this is um, round one of Muti's LC tourney. Anyway, I'm gonna get into the battle here. I'm gonna lead it with my Elikid. He's gonna lead up with his Bronzor. I'm gonna go for the Vault Switch because that's the standard set for Little Cup. As far as I know. Gonna go into my uh what's it Axu, that's it. I was gonna, I was gonna say Kibago, but you know that's the nickname. I'm gonna go into Axu, he goes for Earthquake, doesn't do that much because I'm actually carrying the Evia Light, and this is a you know, this is more or less like a pseudo bulky dragon dancer. So he's gonna go for the fake out. And yeah, I am gonna go for the outrage because I'm thinking I might need a bit more power. I do have Dragon Claw and Outrage, but I forget outrage my kill. Unfortunately it doesn't, which means he's definitely carrying the Evia Light himself. And he takes me to a high jump kick. So now I have to go into my Elikid, go for a Vol Swish. You know, if he switches, I get Switch Initiative. If he doesn't, then, you know, either way. Get a crit, a useful crit. I don't really mind that one, thank you very much. Now I'm going to go into my pants. Because my pants are sexy. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to spoil the video. This guy spells Doom for this guy. This this guy is going to is gonna sweep. You don't believe me? Alright. I'm gonna go for the Dragon Dance, he's gonna go for the Fake Out. Doesn't do that much because I am bulky as hell. I think I can Iron Bone this guy. So, anyway, he's gonna switch out into his Drift Loom. I went for the Drain Punch. At this point, I realized that he's actually gonna go for, you know, kind of switch games. He's gonna go back into his uh, this Pokemon to get regeneration health, and I see that coming. So, I'll go for a Drain Punch twice, nail him on the turn, and then I'll take him out for the move that I didn't really see. I don't know what it was. I think it was another, yeah, it was a crunch. Just in case if you switch it into Drift Room again, but that's not the case. Um, it dies and then my pants starts sweeping. Yes. My pants can sweep. <laughs> so, um, I take out his Drift Loon. In comes Brunzo. I do have the high jump kick, but I was thinking if I miss, then I'm screwed. <laughs> so, I kind of want to go for a Drain Punch just to be safe. Unfortunately, it does live with a sliver of health, so which means I'm going to have to go for another Drain Punch. Which is going to be enough, and yeah. I have a lot of moxie right now, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I'm, <laughs> it's just a sweet video. So anyway, I'm going to talk about something else quickly before the next battle starts. I watched Skyward Sword, the final boss. Yes, I spoiled myself, but only just the final boss. I'm going to spoil myself in any of the other videos. And I must say, the the guy that watched the video completely wrecked him. I was like, wow, is the final boss that easy? Wow. Anyway, gonna go into the triple battles now. And this is the final of some random tourney that was on Facebook. Yes, Facebook. I'm sad. <laughs> anyway, he's gonna lead with, with his Hydreigon, Infinite, and Fortress. And I'm gonna lead off with my Kindra, my Froggy, and my Metal Slug. I can't remember. Gastrodon! Damn. Anyway, Swift Swim is allowed in this tourney. I think you may have realized that from my other video. I think he's got like a thousand Vs now, which is quite surprising. Anyway. Uh, he switches out his quest. He switches out his infinite. Goes into no. What am I saying? He, he switches out one of the Pokemon. Goes into Cresselo. I switch out my Gastron. Go into my Thunderous, which is, which is well, it was legal back then. Just to say. Basically, this is an old video. So I go for the Surf, and I bring his infinite to his Sash, and I bring down his Fortress to his Sturdy. Unfortunately, I can't hit the Cresselo because you know my Politoes on the furthest left hand side so I can't hit the furthest right hand side of his Pokemon. He, um, a red card activate I think which means my Polito is now Gastrodon and uh, he, he lays up toxic spikes I think I need to keep up in this video. Anyway I go for Waterfall. I did make the same mistake twice which is like oh my god I did this before why am I doing the same mistake twice because I, f I forgot that any water move special or direct physical Gastrodon will take it and a special attack will raise. So anyway, I go for a Thunder on the Cresselia. I do get a Paralysis, which is great. And he does go for a U-turn on my Kindra, I believe. It gets a critical hit, which is like, oh my god, that is bad. So anyway, Cresselia goes for a Toxic on my Thunderous, which is 
yeah, not it won't bother me too much in the short run, but in the long run it would be pretty bad. So anyway, Gastrodon's gonna go for an ice beam on the four tress and Gastrodon no, what am I saying? Four tress goes down. <laughs> this is so confusing and I need to concentrate. Sorry guys. So, um off off the ten effects. Yeah, okay, so he goes into his infinite, which is low in health. He goes for a fake out on my Kindra, which is gonna bring it down to red. And my Thunderous is gonna go for a hidden power. I think I believe it's ice. Yeah, it's probably ice. On the Infinite, and it's gonna take it out. So Hydreigon's just gonna go for a Drake Meteor, and it's just <laughs> at this point he just wants my Kindra dead, which he does. So my Kindra goes down. He does get a special attack drop, and yeah, I'm gonna go for Ice Beam. I think I have plus one in special attack at this point, so it's gonna do a lot. So anyway, it does a very good amount. It not being stat, but you know. He goes for a Psychic on my Thunderous and he gets a special defense drop which is kind of bad because the next move could potentially KO me. So uh, I have Leftovers which is actually going to be helpful because it's keeping my health up as the Toxic is wearing it down. He goes into his Gallade, I'm going to switch into my Politoid and put it in the middle. He, I'm going to switch out my Thunderous because I don't want uh, Toxic damage racking up. going to go into my Gardevoir. This is actually a Dream World released God of War that was up from a few weeks ago in the Pokemon Dream version at the Scary Mansion, I think it's called. It has Telepathy, which is great because that means I can avoid my own allies' moves, such as Earthquake and Surf. Get a critical hit on the Surf and Hydreigon that probably did matter, I'm not really sure, but I'm glad, I'm glad it's gone. He goes for a Psycho Cut on my Politoed and does about half, which is good damage. I go for Ice Beam on the Gallade and it still is because you know Gallade has natural special bulk. Goes for a psychic on my Cresselia. Uh, goes a psychic on my Gardevoir. Gets the special defense drop, which is bad. Because that will hinder Gardevoir's own natural special bulk. So he goes into his uh, Suicune, which is in Japanese letters. I'm gonna go for the Surf because I wanna increase my no well Surf will Surf is Surf, you, you know. It why wouldn't I go for Surf? I mean I'm getting special attack boost and I'm avoiding my own moves anyway, and he's in a raid, so you know why not. Takes out Gallade, doesn't take out Crest, and Suicune takes it like a boss. I'm gonna go for the Psycho Shock on Crest earlier. It's gonna be enough to take it out. So I think he has what one Pokemon left. I think he has two. One. I don't. I'm not really sure if he has one or two Pokemon. Left. I think he has two. Anyway, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, he goes for a Calm Mind, and I'm gonna go for the Toxic. And yeah, this Suicune is pretty much gonna be dead pretty soon unless it has rest which I don't think it does but you know if it does and it does if it doesn't then I have something else backed up so uh, after turn effects toxic is flying all over the place and I'm gonna switch out my Politoed I'm gonna bring in my Whimsicott because I have a plan here I think yeah, I think yeah this is definitely his last Pokemon all right so I'm gonna switch out both my Pokemon I'm gonna send in my Thunderous and hopefully I can score a Thunder I do make a bad play. I don't even know if he even predicted and Thunderous gets to hit. I'm like, crap. So, um, Thunderous using Thunder on Suicune is a no-go. But it's still cool. I have another idea. Because my Politoed has a secret move which I'm going to reveal in this battle very soon. And it will be the doom for this guy. So, switching Politoed now. Godfall's going to go for a Protect just in case if uh, he attacks me. And... I don't think Protect does Protect against, uh, what's it, Perishon, which I just did, that's the secret move. So either way, no matter what he does, he's going to die in 3 turns. All I have to do is conserve my Pokemon enough to live 3 turns. So anyway, um, he's pretty much gone at this point, I mean, he has Toxic, he has Perishon on him, and I have, I must have 4 Pokemon, because I think I still have my Gastrodon waiting in the wings. So either way, he's he's pretty much dead, so at this point it's pretty much a good game because either way you're gonna die in three turns, so you know, I, I guess that's pretty much it. That's that's a good game. <laughs> so, um what else am, what else can I talk about while this this draw is in? Because it's pretty much useless. I don't I don't have to do anything. I mean the screen itself will be self explanatory. So yeah. I am I am well I've got a few new games I've been playing Super Mario 3D Land. That that has a whole bunch of levels. I thought, well, um, spoilers, I'm gonna spoil you guys. 3D Land has more levels than you think, but I won't exactly say how many levels, but let's just say when you complete World 8, there's a lot more. 
uh, Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3, you may have seen that random video I put on my last upload, it was Phoenix Wright's Hyper Combo. You, you know, just, just see the video if you haven't seen it already. And Skyward Sword, I have bought Skyward Sword, it's a very good game actually. I heard that it's very long, it's about 35 to 50 hours long, which is like, wow, that's a lot. The final boss, I kind of spoiled myself on the final boss, but I had it coming, I'm prone to spoilers. Also, I've watched some new Mario Kart 7 uploads from some other user. And yeah, it's pretty good, the blue shell's quite... The blue shell still acts like a blue shell from Mario Kart Wii, if anything. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it. I'll... Since the battle's pretty much gone, I will leave it there, and... I'll catch you guys later, so yeah, peace.